Hey there, welcome to another notes guide. This time, I'm going to cover Koshi Complex. This video took me way too long to get together, so if you can give it a thumbs up, I will really appreciate it. I will have every note location time stamped and I'll share my tips on how to find some which are somewhat hidden. I will also show the entire route I take when possible to show the location of some of the ones which are somewhat more hidden. Please keep in mind that a lot of these notes can be duplicates, meaning a lot of them can appear in two or more places at once. Why? I don't know, but I will share with you where I found these notes and where they are supposed to be. Also, I will have all notes organized per wing so that you don't have to run around too much. Let's start with the easiest notes and the easiest wing. Barrack, which you can enter through the Tarak Bridge entrance. The barracks wing is mostly flooded and it has a couple of traps. Barracks 1 and Barracks 2 notes share the same spawn location, but only one can spawn per deployment. They are always found right before the door that leads to the chemical plant of Koshi Complex. What I suggest is to spawn anywhere else, clear your wing, and open the door leading to the barracks from outside through the chemical plant, or just do a quick clear and run for the exit. Next. It's the information extraction area, the entrance through city parking. I suggest bringing one car battery and one jumper cables before entering this area. Usually, you will find one of each toward the exit, but why risk it? Inside, you will find a total of three notes. When you enter the main room, make a right. We're heading for the first note. The first note that you will come across is the soldier's note. You will need to clear a bunch of bots. So bring shotguns since it's usually a one-shot kill on the bots. Even one without any attachment will do just fine. Now exit the room where you took the soldier's note from and then make a right. There will be a turret and a lot of bots in there, so take care of them. The note you're looking for is called Office Memo 2. This will be found in the middle of the prison slash jail hospital room. Next, we're going toward the final note of this area called power supply. There will be two more turrets that you'll need to take care of and a lot of enemies, of course. This note is found at the very end of the wing, right before you have to plug the battery and jumper cables. This is it right here. Keep in mind that the exact same note is found in external ops, but I will not cover it since it's in the same location, but in that wing. Since we're cleared both north wings, let's focus on the middle, which is the chemical plant area. Make sure you bring night vision goggles here because it's quite dark where you need to find your notes. This is where you will find Alpha Cluster 2. In the same hut that you are in right now, you will find Chemical Plant 3. Once you have both nodes, you can go to the second hut, and this is where the hut is. Inside, you will find the note Alpha Cluster. Once you grab it, here you will also find Chemical Plant. These are the only four nodes currently found inside Chemical Plant. Next, I will focus on external ops. Again, bring a car battery and jumper cables just in case for this part. There is a total of three notes here, out of which two spawn in the same location, meaning only one can be picked up per deployment. Don't worry, it gets worse once you reach Alpha Cluster. The first note is found in one of the side rooms. You're looking for Office Memo 3. The next one is found inside the room with computers. In this location, you can find Factory Defense 1. Please keep in mind that this is the exact same location for the Radiation Memo note as well. I don't know why they make this difficult for us, but I've seen this note spawn only once whenever I've been here, so be very and pray 
to the RNG God. Here it is, right here. Next on the list is the Defense Research Division. There is a total of seven nodes in this wing, and for one of these, you will most likely need the two exit keys that lead toward the factory wing. Prepare by bringing at least two radiation blockers. You shouldn't really need more than that, and there are quite a few masks inside the whole wing. And bring an ammo box. Spawning in a few minutes late and having no ammo here isn't fun. The first note is the researcher's journal one, found in the first room in which you need to close the bunkers in. Once you're done, proceed to the next room. As soon as you engage the enemies, a guy with an explosive vest will rush you, so be careful. Pop a radiation blocker before going past the door to the second room to prevent your mask from being destroyed by radiation. Once you clear the enemies, find the radiation journal to note. While you're here, you will need to keep an eye out for the first exit key. I've always found it inside the closed bunker door, which for some reason doesn't trigger radiation lockdown. Now go to the next room. Again, clear out the box and the turret and grab your researcher's journal number three. Again, you should keep an eye out for the key here. And I've usually found it inside the already locked bunker room. Find your key, close all bunker doors and move forward. Now, in this side room, before exiting the area, you can find one of two notes. Researcher's journal number four can be found here. Since you have both keys, I suggest you open the door that leads to the factory area. The little side room found right across the entrance has a spawn point for any of the notes. You might be lucky and find researcher's note number five here. If you don't find it here, it seems to share the same spawn as number four notes. And the last two notes are radiation hazard one and two. They are both found in the same location, so you will only find one per deployment. Depending on your luck, you might only need two deployments to grab all notes in this wing. Let's move over to the factory area. There are three ways how you can enter this area and there is a total of five notes that you can grab. In order to better explain in terms of navigating, when you exit the shop room, go all the way left. The Office Memo 5 is always found on this desk right here. Close by, you will find Chemical Plant 1. I picked both notes up without realizing I'm not recording, but the chemical plant should be here. If it's not, just look around, it's in this general area. Now head for the Rhino Boss. He is somewhat difficult to deal with, so just make sure that you are shooting his chest, never his helmet. Once he's dead, he will drop Factory Defense 2. Next boss you need to deal with is the Sniper. Beware of traps, and again only shoot him in the chest, never in the head. This boss is not as difficult as the traps he set up beforehand, so focus and don't rush. Depending on how much damage he takes, he will move, so just follow him and shoot every chance you get. You can use grenades, but I recommend shock stick if you want to lock him into place for a bit. Once dead, he will drop factory defense 3. For the final note, you need to make your way toward where the Koshi Complex weapon case room is. Before entering, in the room with the safe, you will find the Office Memo 4. You can find it on the shelf, opposite the safe where you need the diamond-tipped drill. And last, but not least, it's the Alpha Cluster Wing. To enter this area, one car battery and jumper cables are mandatory so that the doors get power and you can open them. There are only two entrances here, and both are close to each other. There are a total of seven notes that you need to grab here. The notes for Sergei's journal 1 through 5 have only three possible spawn locations. So prepare to come here many times. For me, after 10 visits, I have yet to see Sergei's journal number 1. I found the rest without any issues, but the first one eludes me.
takes me longer to find a car battery and jumper cables than it takes to me to reach this area. The office memo one note is found on the balcony opposite the extraction elevator. You can get to it from here. There are three note spawns here, out of which only one is for the Sergei journals. Sergei's journal number six is locked behind a puzzle that involves using three AQ laptops on the computers in the middle of the room and then the door will unlock. Here is a rough idea on how to do this, but the hard part is finding the laptops. There is usually a minimum of two found in the side rooms of each wing. This is the note right here, and that's it. I appreciate you stopping by, and I really hope this video was useful to you. If you need help or players to play with, I put a link in the description for a Discord you can check out. As always, thanks for watching.